foreigners. If you want to do this properly, may I recommend you call the pounders from the Bird's Eye Steakhouse. Chicken, beef, or chili beef, thick, tender, and juicy. Hey, Limey, that's the best quarter pounder I ever tasted. Oh, I'm sorry, I only speak English. Quarter pounders from the Bird's Eye Steakhouse, the stamp of great tasting meat. Anyway, I was in the post office when she comes in, picking up a HGV license application. Not for him with an articulate lorry. And the packer mac and the sideboards. All I'll say is he was in the post office owning a joint national savings account Tuesday last. Ooh, I thought there'd never be more than one slice in his toaster. Don't look. Him up for 73. He was in for a bus pass and a look at the electoral register. And I think we all know whose particulars he's been taking down. He never is. And then you, Nigel. He comes in the post office to get some photos enveloped. Fancy. Apparently, he's got one of those paranoid cameras. And this is where we start making sugar pie with whole grains of wheat. And this adds to the pop of air. Now, here's where we mix the honey. There's going to be a few of you out cheering this time, then. About 40, I'd reckon. Something for the ladies? Oh, yeah. Two bottles of sweet cherry, mate. <laughs> Looks like we've overdone it with the sherry. Yeah. Australians wouldn't give a castle main forex for anything else. On the spur of the moment, you need a savings account that can do the same. Instant access from Abbey National. Good Saturday. The habit of a lifetime. Next Wednesday's movie premiere is Big Trouble in Little China. Kurt Russell goes in for a little Chinese water torture. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just thrilled to be alive.